Good morning. Welcome to day 70, Saturday, June 15th, 2024. We've been going for about 45 minutes. Our campsite was pretty windy and uh, a couple people like were camped right on top of me, so I didn't want to record anything there. We're making our way to Thousand Island Lakes. Then we have the Island Pass and then Donahue Pass to enter Yosemite National Park. Awesome. Alright, so after seven, we made it to Thousand Island Lake after a long climb. It's really pretty, but it's really cold and windy right now. Alright, we're climbing above Thousand Island Lake, looking for a sunny, non-windy spot to take a little break, have something to eat. Alright, finally found a little sunny spot, not too windy, above Thousand Island Lake. Had a little breakfast and we got a great shot of Mount Ritter right in front of us. Probably the closest we'll be to Ritter, so enjoy. All right, it's eight o'clock. It is time to de-layer and get some sunglasses. Put on some sunscreen, some lip balm, all that good stuff. All right, it's 8.30. We've gone over the top of Island Pass. And now our next destination, Donahue Pass and Yosemite National Park. All right, we're making our way down from Island Pass. Had, I'm gonna say five total, a group of three and two solo through hikers pass by me. I recognize the solo folks. And then the um, four backpackers that I saw yesterday, they're a little bit ahead of me. So there's been some people out and about. All right, it's 9.30. We've got our first creek crossing where we need to put the Crocs on keep the trail runners relatively dry. All right, we're at Rush Creek. Got to put the Crocs back on. All right, we're slowly making our way up Donahue Pass. We're kind of, uh, we're off trail, kind of taking a little bit more of a direct route. We're probably hmm, less than a quarter mile to the left of the actual trail, just heading up. And eventually we'll get somewhere up there and then go that way and keep going up. We'll get back to the trail. All right, it's a little after 1230. We're just about to top out at Donahue Pass and enter Yosemite National Park. Amazing. Bits and pieces of the trail have shown up, but uh, still a lot of snow up here, so. We did it. We're finally in Yosemite. Whew. Gotta start making our way down. I have a mile or two of slushy snow and then uh, start thinking about camp. Getting our views of the first valley we're gonna see in Yosemite. Pretty cool. You see some hikers down there ahead of me. They're also through hikers, the group before them. All right, it's getting close to two. Decide to finally give my feet a break and air them out, even though the trail runners are still going to be soaking wet. We still got some more snow to go through. This is a nice little break spot. Ran into a 
trail runner who was going up to Donahue Pass, and she was asking about um, the Evolution Basin. And of course, I had to tell her about the bridge that's down, assuming she knew about it, and she didn't. So I gave her some info and told her to get on far out. And then I had three other backpackers heading up, I guess, to camp uh, around the pass. So other than that, it's been pretty quiet. It's been a really nice day. Um, just a lot of snow. So I bought this new hydration brand, Liquid IV, I've seen around. Give it a try, more so because it had the lemon lime flavor and that's really one I don't have for Tailwind or Gatorade. So let's give it a whirl. Some loud frogs. All right, so we came down from over there now we've got a water crossing at the Lyle Fork. Going to have to put the Crocs on, so here we go. All right, so a little after four o'clock, we have found camp for the night. Um, last night I had people like right on top of me, so I have gone away from the trail. I think this is an old section of rerouted trail and looked around and found the spot. So I don't expect any company tonight. There are a lot of mosquitoes here, so I think I'm gonna have to spray my legs while I get the chores done, but that's okay. All right, so a little after five, we've got all of our camp chores done. The mosquitoes were pretty relentless today. I almost sprayed on the D, but I figured I could suffer through it for 15, 20 minutes. So water was nearby, which was convenient. Made a nice cup of decaf while I'm getting organized. Um, having some delicious Dots pretzels that we picked up at Red's Meadow. Got dinner set up. We're gonna do mashed potatoes and lasagna. We're gonna bulk up. Um, other than that, just getting tomorrow's snack bag organized. Um, it's a really nice site. It's definitely an established site, but I think uh, with the reroute of the trail, it just uh, is off the beaten path now. So lucky for me. Um, and hopefully in the morning, it'll be cold enough where I can get out of here before the mosquitoes do too much damage. I'm really thinking about leaving the rain fly off tonight and see how cold it gets. It was windy at my site last night. I don't know how cold it was. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll experiment tonight here. I'll see what elevation we're at and maybe uh, we'll see how it goes with the rain fly off. That's the update. We'll come up with one more to uh, close out the day. We're in Yosemite National Park amazing. Sarah and I have done a lot of backpacking in this park on all, all four corners. So it's awesome to be back. I'm going to be going through sections um, that Sarah and I have gone through last year and in years past. So have done a lot of the PCT in Yosemite, but not all of it. So it'll be fun. Um, see how far we are from Tuolumne Meadows, the general store, if they're open, we'll definitely swing by there. There is um, a rule that main highway there, 120, you can't camp four trail miles from either side of the road. So, but that's no big deal. I mean, obviously you're leaving the road, so you're gonna have some elevation gain, but um, that's just, there are the rules in Yosemite. So come back with a quick recap very soon. All right, let's recap and wrap it up. We did just shy of 14 miles today, um, hiking for 11 hours, 5.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Probably less than an hour of break time total, but lots of climbing, lots of snow, travel, slows you down. My goal for today was a campsite about 
two and a half miles further north. So considering all the snow, I'm pretty happy with the progress today. We'll see, um, maybe we'll have a pit stop at the general store tomorrow, depending on if we can find out if they're open or not. We're in Yosemite National Park. We've seen uh, some more backpackers, not through hikers, and um, even a trail runner today. And I was giving her a bunch of beta on the um, Evolution Basin, San Joaquin River bridge that's been out and uh, giving her some options. She wanted to do like a big loop there. So my guess is she's like a seasonal worker. I kind of got that vibe. I didn't want to ask too many questions. So, yeah, very cool. Going to start seeing more people. Be interested to see what Highway 120 looks like tomorrow. If there's lots of cars. Um, I don't know. I guess school's out for a lot of folks already. Like, for the younger kids. I know all the older kids are already done. But, yeah. So, who knows what we'll run into tomorrow. Hopefully more snacks. <laughs> Maybe, uh... I don't think I'm going to be able to make breakfast tomorrow. I'm probably too far away. But maybe lunch or maybe something to go for dinner tomorrow night, wherever we end up. Was kind of leapfrogging back and forth with the same group of through hikers pretty much all day. And then there was a group of uh, four backpackers that was leapfrogging with them for a while. And then either they turned off to do some kind of loop or they just kept going. So... Very good day, very good Saturday, feeling good. Um, we're getting spoiled with no snow travel. I don't think we have many passes left, at least snow covered passes. We'll see. The last big one is Sonora Pass, which is down the, up the road a bit, where we get our next resupply at Kennedy Meadows North. There's a couple passes coming up that Sarah and I have done Benson Pass, CV Pass. I don't think they're going to be very snowy um, but who knows we'll find out so that's it we're gonna enjoy the rest of our Saturday night keep the mosquitoes at outside uh, literally I must have had to deal with 40 no joke 40 mosquitoes in here when I got in a tent so I sprayed this darn thing with Promethean um, back at Kennedy Meadows South it's not really doing much good maybe I, I gotta give it another shot so that's the update. See you in the morning.